This is your first session of How to Never Be Broke Again. One of the biggest problems is how people view money. Some people look at money like it's a dream. Some people look at money as if it's a it's power or a person. Money is a commodity. You don't believe me? Go in your pocket right now unless you're just absolutely broke. You probably have a few dollars in there. And if you were to go down the street to your co-workers or walk around the house, literally everybody would have some money. I mean, not have as much as they want, but they have some. Money is everywhere. When you operate on the lack mindset, you create a situation of you're viewing money to be more than it really is. You're looking at money as if it is this demigod or in some people's mind, money is a god. But once again, the first way that you can begin to solve your brokenness problem That's the situation of not having enough money. That's the situation of having no money, which is absolutely deplorable and demoralizing. You must view money what it is. It's a tool. It's a commodity and it's everywhere. And once you begin to reframe your mind and reframe how you conduct your mental finances, notice I said mental finances because it all starts there. It starts with how you think about money. It starts how you look at money, ultimately, which will determine how you use money. Now, I know you were saying to a person who doesn't have any money, it's not a commodity. And I would say wrong. Sugar is a commodity. Potatoes is a commodity. Rice, oil. Just because you don't have those things currently in your house or in your pocket or in close reach does not not make them no longer commodities because they're everywhere. They're in every country. They're in every city. That's the epitome of being a commodity and money is a commodity. So today, understand and begin to reframe your perception of money. Money is no more than a commodity. No more and often less.